Hi, this is Denise Matthew. I hope you're doing well. I'm here today to talk about the new moon happening at 2 degrees Libra on September 25th, 2022. With Mercury still retrograde, revisiting the past, recalibrating and reconfiguring the ways that you found success and connected to your body might be a big theme for this new moon. It's also the first new moon of the new season of autumn or spring based on where you are. So it's a melding of the past and the future that is all happening in the now. The sun and the moon meet up in the gate 46 line five pacing and this energy aligns and even capitalizes on the idea of shifting things up and trying something new to get better or even the same results that you had in the past. The nature of abstract collective energy is that it is connected to the experiences that we have in life. Where the theory is, if you do it right, you can be fully satisfied after having an experience in a way where you never have to repeat it again because you already received all that you felt you needed from that experience. If we expand on that theme and connect it to the gate 46, this energy says that even if you've had success doing things a certain way in the past, it's not a guarantee for future success. As the old saying goes, lightning doesn't strike twice. And what that means is that this new moon is encouraging you to step out of your comfort zone and to do things a little different than usual. And if you do, there's potential for you to experience a new level of success in your life. How that plays out will be specific to each one of us. The key is that something needs to be tweaked as you move forward because the status quo won't work this time around. This energy also says that even if there are a lot of people encouraging you to keep doing the same thing and to not change it up, the only true way of being is to be in the flow of your life and to go to the beat of your own drum. It's easy to get caught up in someone else's ideas about how you should live your life, but in reality, only you know what's correct for you. When you align with your personal truth, you also align with your destiny and the success and luck that you're meant to have automatically meet you in your life. The Earth and Jupiter are in the gate 25, activating the lines 5 and 6, which brings a strong theme for the energy of the gate 25. Now, if we look at the gate 25 line five recuperation, we can see the connection between the gate 25 and the gate 46 that are in opposition to each other on the mandala. So the themes of the energy can be combined. The gate 25 points at a connection with our physical body and the concept of being in the now or in the present moment can lead to deep healing. This says that you are encouraged to be in your body to listen and align with what it wants to tell you, which is an overall theme for a Mercury retrograde that is being repeated in this new moon. It also points to the idea that the way for you to heal your body or to find optimal health is by being connected to being in the present moment because it's only there that you can truly discover what your body needs to thrive. This is also the energy of a natural hands-on healer, which serves to reinforce the idea that by looking at health and healing in a different way, a health issue that you may have had might get resolved or your overall health in general might improve. This is the purest form of body and mind connection where you can connect in a new way with your physical form. Of course, this is not medical advice. And if you are unwell, seeing a health professional might be the best choice for you. If we move to Jupiter in the gate 25 line six, we visit the theme of having an authenticity meter that detects those who are being who they truly are and those who are pretending to be someone who they're not. The gate 25 is a gate of universal love and with the sixth line activated, it brings a theme of surrender and accepting life as it is, which means that you have an opportunity to accept all beings and life in the world as one as you accept your life as it is. This is about seeing a spark of yourself and all that is around you and understanding that even though we are all unique, we all contain the ingredients and life force that gives us life. This is the potential to love your existence without judgment or to despise who you are. It's your choice with this powerful love gate that feeds your identity. This energy reminds you that in life, your spirit is always being tested and it's also where the scars of those tests and life lessons reside. We could say that this is a kintsugi of life or the art of restoring cracked pottery with gold leaf, repairing the vessel, but always keeping in mind that it will never be exactly the same as it was before. This new moon encourages you to see and sit with your past hurts. And as much as you can find physical healing, there's potential for you to find spiritual healing and even self-love. The love that arises out of this energy is about just being who you are. The essence of this energy says that despite being quashed by a multitude of things in our human life, we still hold on to our light and persist in being ourselves in the world. Being true to you can be one of the greatest battles that you'll encounter. Yet every time you answer the call of your heart and soul and align with your truth, 
is one more moment that you grow closer to fully embodying and even making friends with your internal spirit. This energy says that for universal love to spread, embracing the right to be exactly who you are, to have freedom to choose for yourself and to align with your own personal truth, devoid of the expectations of the collective, is exactly right. When you align with your internal truth and allow everyone to be exactly who they are as well, then that in itself is a world worth working towards. The North and South node move just before this new moon happens, which adds another layer of the theme that this new moon is talking about. In the first line, it's the foundational energy of the gate two and also the gate one that talks about direction and creative expression. The nodes in human design are considered the background frequency and even the environment that we're being influenced by or the road we are walking. The north node in the gate two line one intuition talks about finding your direction in life as does all the energy of the gate two. Yet this is a place where we search for beauty and what might be considered paradise as our destination or destiny. If we see the gate two as housing the magnetic monopole, it might also be considered where we find our higher self, the part of you that knows that to find the best direction for you and for your life trajectory, tapping into your inner knowing can help lead the way. Many times we allow the mind to steer the boat and this can lead us to places that are not aligned with our higher self. The key is to surrender to your inner knowing, that little voice and body connection that whispers which direction to go. How it all unfolds in your life is a universe's secret because only by walking the path will you discover what's in store for you. The south node in the gate one line one creation is independent of will reminds us that to bring anything new or mutative into the collective it's important to accept that divine timing is part of the process. You could imagine that the mutation or the transformation that comes through you arise with a muse that basically comes and goes as it pleases. It says that we don't have control of when our inspiration arrives and that can be one of the toughest parts of this energy. Yet if you see that your inspiration or creativity is a source of true internal magic and when it comes, it comes at the exact right time for you, then having patience with your own unique process might become a little easier. This energy says that when you wait and let life unfold on its own time, often the rewards that come can be magical and definitely worth every bit of the time that they took to arrive. Well, that's it for the new moon transit. I hope you have a wonderful new moon and until next time, take care and I'll see you again soon.